Hi and welcome. I'm Gabi. I am Director of Communities at SEED and with me today is uh, Daniel Ivanov from LimeChain, our partner in Sofia. And he is a blockchain architect for the SEED platform and for LimeChain. They are working on cutting edge DLT and blockchain solutions in sunny Bulgaria. Uh, hello and welcome Daniel. Uh, so good to have you here with me. Hello, Gabby. Uh, I'm very glad that I'm here as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, today we want to uh, talk about blockchain because our community had a lot of questions about um, the role of blockchain on the seed platform. And since you are um, the expert for, uh, expert for that, um, everybody said to me, oh, you have to talk to Daniel. And so I brought some questions with me. Okay. And um, so the first one is about the Ethereum blockchain. So some of um, our community members have heard that the Ethereum blockchain has some performance challenges. Um, so how are we um, writing to the blockchain in a way um, that doesn't slow anything down, especially when logging events like we do? Yeah, that's, that's a very good question. Uh, one of the first problems that we had to solve was that we need a very big uh, transaction throughput. Uh, technically, uh, SEED is not writing directly to the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, we have our uh, own uh, blockchain, a side chain, so to say, that's uh, EVM compatible. Uh, basically, we have... Um, uh, a separate blockchain running that is linked to the public Ethereum network that everyone uses. And it's designed a purpose uh, in, in for one purpose, to record the usages, events, uh, accommodate all of the on-chain activity that, that will be required by SEED. So um, we're eliminating that problem for the transaction throughput by having a separate blockchain that is um, performing all those uh, uh, transactions and uh, we have uh, linked it to the Ethereum network. Okay, cool. So these um, performance challenges that we have on the public Ethereum blockchain um, uh, isn't a problem uh, for us because we are on a side chain. So yes, yes, exactly, exactly. Great. Um, so the, another question is that w what is the value of blockchain to consumers? Like to the ones uh, that are talking to a chatbot that has been built on the seed platform? Yeah, so um, this is a very good uh, question. The value of the blockchain comes from uh, different uh, perspectives. One of that is that it's it's uh, the foundational layer where, uh, on which we can build decentralized marketplaces. Uh, transparency is inherited in the blockchain systems. Basically, we can have one shared database on which everyone is incentivized to, uh, to provide um, a um, a valid information, basically the data integrity that it's uh, it's written on, on the blockchain um, uh, is better. Um, we can build um, uh, basically uh, self-sovereign identities for the end users. They will have they have the ability to uh, control who accesses their data, how it's accessed, and they can revoke that access. Mm -hmm. um, it's like the, the, you mean the privacy controls on the seat? Yeah, yeah, exactly, the privacy controls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, maybe um, one other thing that um, it will be very uh, valuable to the developers and the publishers uh, who are going to incorporate the bots into their services, etc., is that they're going to have uh, total control um, of what what what's happening, they will have control, and they can see every uh, everything that's recorded as walks, uh, etc. They can uh, they can inspect something if they uh, have suspicion of something. For example, everything is uh, transparent. Okay, so um, I hear this is a question about quality. So in the end, the consumer of um, seed build bots um, has better bots, right? Yeah, <laughs> this is the end goal. <laughs> okay, and one last question. Um, you know, um, if I'm using other blockchain services, I usually, um, I'm, I'm being charged network fees if I send somebody uh, ETH or BTC. Yeah, so how about uh, using, using the seed platform? Will I be charged network fees as well? 
because as we know, uh, that's a lot of transactions there for me as a developer um, and a deployer. Yeah, so well, this is a very, very good question because uh, um, one, one reason that we had uh, built our own blockchain solution, our own blockchain network is that we have to um, not only provide the necessary transaction throughput, but we have to lower the fee so that it's feasible to everyone to participate in the network. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, the fact that we have our, our own blockchain network, uh, we can lower the fees so that, uh, first of all, um, users that interact with the platform uh, may do um, several 20, 30 transaction, transactions and just pay uh, order of magnitude lower, uh, for example, one cent compared to public Ethereum's mm -hmm. um, fees. So um, the short question is that the, the short answer is that they're going to pay fees, although they'll be really, really slow, uh, low. Uh, and uh, when it comes to recording the activity on the blockchain, uh, because that our um, uh, our blockchain is uh, specifically built for uh, for our use case, uh, we can we can um, we can provide a solution uh, for the transaction fees uh, when it comes to recording usage of of bots. So this is this is so to say the answer. Okay, great. So. Um we'll have lower fees than we are used to on other platforms because our blockchain is optimized for exactly our use case, which yeah. is logging yeah. all the transactions that bots um, will create, right? Yes, yes. Uh, this is one part of the, uh, the solution. The second one is uh, regarding the um, security of the system. Um, when you have an open network, um, you have to um, provide additional security measures um, that basically enforce um, higher transaction fees. And because we we have a network that's um, that has its own use case, uh, the the people that participate in the network are known entities, and we can we can lower the fees uh, and maintain the same security. Okay. Sounds very good to me. Um, well, um, thank you for answering all my questions. And um, thank you for being with us today. And I hope to see you soon in, in Slack or maybe in the next interview. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, thank you Gary. Bye. Bye-bye.